Welcome. Welcome Thank to, you very welcome, much. Welcome to Quebec. Hope you enjoy the trip. This should be really exciting. We're exciting. really looking forward yeah, to it. Hopefully great. we can get to Sable. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Weather looks good. You have to watch your head a little bit. Hey there. Come see where we're going to live. It's been a few years since I slept in bunk beds. Uh, they say the bottom bunk is best. So Steve, you want to do rock, paper, scissors? One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, I'll take the middle. I'll take the middle. I'll take the middle. Home sweet home. The HMCS Build of Quebec carries out missions all over the world, from the high Arctic to the Mediterranean to here off the coast of Nova Scotia. No matter where they are, the weather is always a factor. There is some forecasting involved, uh, especially when we're out in the middle of the ocean. There's not a lot to go off of in the way of products or observations, unfortunately, so we kind of do our own. What do we got here? This here is a handheld laser salometer. We're pretty adept at kind of picking and choosing uh, the right product based on um, what we've used before, what people uh, in our trade have, have experience with. The hardest part is standing up straight <laughs> when you're looking up in the sky and not falling and hitting your head. It definitely it. is. Yeah. yeah. There is some, some radar on board that uh, once in a while we'll, we could see like a, a smaller cell uh, on it, but it's it's mostly just finding finding the things that are available to us on the internet. So you're flying by the seat of your pants I'm, in a lot of cases. I am flying by the seat <laughs> of my pants and flying by uh, whatever I see around the ship, and uh, hopefully there's some other data out there. What do seas of five to six meters do, um, not only the sh to the ship's operations, but to the personnel on board uh, in terms of uh, you know folks going to sick bay? Uh, well, the ship still has to run. Um, there is a lot more seasickness. Uh, occasionally, someone might uh, might fall down a ladder, or have a uh, have an accident in in those seas because there's a lot of movement. Uh, and if you're not used to it, it it can really throw you for a, for a loop. That's for sure. Are there conditions that are you know considered just too stormy to do training exercises like we saw today? Uh, where we did, you know, the swarming um, out on the on the deck. Right. Yeah. Um, there are definitely conditions uh, that would prevent that. Uh, if you saw three meter seas, they wouldn't be out in the rib, um, uh, boating around like that. Uh, you wouldn't see divers down. Um, it would affect gunnery X's, uh, of course. Visibility, ceilings, winds affect uh, helo operations. So there's a, a breadth of weather that really impacts the, uh, the ship's operations. And that's why they have uh, meteorological technicians embarked. Both both Metex also work for me, so I'm, I'm their supervisor. Um, is there any stories or uh, trips that come to mind where you uh, got in uh, to a situation where the seas were a little too rough for your liking? Um, well, I mean, when I was uh, deployed on HMCS St. John's last year, as we were taking a few larger waves, like about six, seven, eight meters over the bow, wow. and this window that was actually here smashed in and then flooded the, the bridge. So these are all shatterproof windows, supposedly for warfare, but the sea is, you know, quite a bit heavier than any kind of impact like that and broke that in there. I know so Montreal water was, was pouring in. Yeah, it came in, flooded, flooded everything, and they had to board it up, and then they were driving from down below. So we have a couple of different steering positions uh, from a couple of years ago. Um, as well, some of the other frigates, when you're doing helicopter trials and for the new cyclone the last couple of years, they've been intentionally going out and finding the biggest and worst possible sea state they can, <laughs> which means, you know, lots of, lots of damage, losing radars off the top, stuff being pulled off the ship. Um, nothing to lose a few things over the side every time you get into kind of a storm. Because you have to learn how to be able to handle that situation. Yep. So that's why they're trying to find the exactly, stormiest. Exactly. They want it, you need to know where the limits are so you can know how to operate within them. Well, what a first day it's been. I've had a lot of fun. We've learned a lot. And I haven't been seasick yet, so that's great. Uh, this should be interesting tonight. 
You don't snore, do you, Steve? Okay, good. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be a big day because we, we do have to get a lot of sleep because if the weather works out, we're gonna get to Sable Island. And if we get to Sable Island, fingers crossed, I'll get to launch a weather balloon as well. So early to bed and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.